So as you know, Ableton Live is a very richly supported program with tons of resources, wonderful people working on kinds of things. So if you go to um, um, Mac, Max, I mean the um, a live um, Ableton s site, you have the Max Live Building Tools, and um, this is already included in your uh, Live 10 set a uh, suite, so you don't need to even download that. But here for Maxwell Live, you have so many packs, different set of um, things uh, that uh, you can use. And if you know you like to buy Maxwell Live Essentials, which is already included, so all that is already there for you, right? Um, in the Max program, also there is a. Uh, um, M4L API list of abstraction under extras here uh, that lists all kinds of things you can try out such as let's see scene select scene fire or whatever so let's see um, fire selected scene so if you click on that uh, here is your um, abstraction and if you double click on this it's all in there right so all this is really wonderful, right? Um, and also in the um, help file, here I'm gonna get there first. So you go to the reference, and then if that doesn't look like what I just had, just click on this home button, then scroll down to Max for Live guide, and here you have so many documents that you can read about it and you can probably find all the answers that you need which I have not done myself but <laughs> just too long DR, <laughs> DR but anyway so this particular one called live um, the live object model LOM I was watching one of the many wonderful tutorials of Max for Live and one person said that this LOM document is the Bible of the most important document and okay so I looked at it and if I show this to your computer programmers or you know pro computer people um, they will say oh my goodness this is so well documented and in fact it is well documented but see how huge this is it's hugely inconvenient to find anything there but you can find your information and this wonderful flowchart doesn't do it for me or didn't do it for me until un I understood it and uh, hugely unfriendly <laughs> for me so um, I will take you so all these uh, wonderful um, devices that you already have that you can just use already made for you they are all wonderful I mean all these uh, uh, um, max API controls and so on it's all there for you to for you to um, use them except what happens often in Max and therefore Max in life so it's not exactly what you want so it's better that you just you know learn to do this yourself if you have to so it doesn't have to be the kitchen sink that you need to uh, put it in so so you go to Max for life and on the top of it it would say Max audio effect so let's put on the audio effect just drag it into your audio track and this thing appears a max audio effect and it comes with this default objects um, these ones called the plug in tilde plug out tilde and these are essentially uh, audio in and audio out so uh, what you do is to click this button on the left most uh, it says edit button here um, right here right so it tells you great thing about great thing about Ableton is it's everything is so well documented look at so this one so if you, if you click that open this window appears and now I'm back in a max world and um, this is your surface so as you have seen in max um, it's basically a max patch it is a max patch and it has a little line over here and it says um, device vertical limit because um, Ableton Live only has this much space, it's because of a real estate um, issue. So, device vertical mid, thank you very much, and build your audio effects here. Um, we just keep these um, down there for the timing for, for today. 
Um, so, okay, so here we are. Let's see. Okay, so you have an Iowa blank slate. In life, um, all this abstraction that you just saw um, in the live object um, abstractions here, all these things open in Max, but you have to copy paste them in order to make it work. So just remember that. And here, let's just start by um, two objects, new objects, live dot path and live dot object. Okay. So these two uh, work in tandem anyway. Okay. So <laughs> when I was trying to learn this, I found this really great and fun message called "Get Children." <laughs> Not because I'm a mom, but get children. So I just get children of live paths. And this is kind of fun thing to do, and you know, you can just do this in your leisure time. And here, live path has uh, three outlets. On the left, uh, rightmost is called a dump out, so I just dump it out into a message box. Just to, it's a cold outlet, so it doesn't do anything. Just a, I call it the poor man's print object. Right? So um, then, get children of live path. I click and look, I got this device, control surface, live at, live set. Right? So this is all in the, um, where did it go? The live object model. Um, I seem to have lost my live object model uh, documentation here. Okay, so see this? Live app, live, uh, no, all, all this is here. So now I have it written in my Max patch, so I can actually see them like that, right? So um, the one that we are going to concern ourselves the most at the moment is this live set, because this is kind of uh, what controls all your um, life here. So send a message path, and then live set into live path. Okay. Live path is now going to have a path called live set. It's one of the children. Children means what comes uh, after this. So here I am going to say path live set right? and then click it and then guess what? Get the children of that again. Look, now I have cue points, master track, uh, return tracks, scenes, tracks, view, visible tracks as its children. So, in other words, you can start from here. Let's do this again. So, you live paths, live path children. One of the children was what live underscore set, right? So, if I get the children of this, you'll get, well, right? So, here we go. Children is that, right? So um, what I just did is to get the dump out of what these things are. At the same time, what you don't see is that live underscore set in live.path will also give you a ID number. So if I send a bang, it's ID1. I mean, obviously, right? It's like the first thing that I just did. So it's a live ID1. Anything in Max for Life, I mean, no, not anything, everything, but um, is controlled by ID numbers. So ID1 means ID1 <laughs> um, that can be sent to things. So what I'm going to do is to actually connect to live object like this. Okay, so let's see. Um, but I just, it, it, being connected doesn't give a live object of ID 1 yet, I have to bang it again, right? So like this, right? So now live object got the, I, got the ID 1 into it. So now, okay, so um, it's kind of time to do something fun. Uh, let's see. Well, it's been always fun. <laughs> um, here is, um, remember the print object from my first, very first tutorial, if you watched it. So uh, print it and let the um, message box go into it, go get info, get info of live object, 
which has just received ID number one, which is the live set, right? And let's see what's going to happen to this. So watch out my Max console. I'm going to click get info. Bam. Oh my god. So these are all the things that you can do. I don't know if you can see um, there, right? All these things you can do. 